How do we get the trust? I can, I can speak on how we, the police can get our trust. They can get our trust by, first of all, respecting their uniform, respecting their office, and then respecting the next person they meet, whether it's a civilian or a fellow police officer. If you do not respect the person you're talking to, how do you expect the person to respect you? You understand? He's talking about the way people react. The young man in the Lexus in Delta State has been seeing and hearing the same things we've been seeing and hearing. I know about a young man who stepped out of his house to buy suya on his street. He wasn't seen until four years later. What happened to him? Police came on that street and just parked everybody there. He didn't have money to bail himself. And he spent four years in uh, maximum security prisons in Lagos in the east and in the north. And it was when he was brought back to Lagos. A woman went to do a church outreach in the prison, and they threw a piece of paper on, his, on her skirt. And she opened it, and she, all she saw there was, please help me call my auntie. My name is so, so, so. That's how they found out that the body thought was dead a long time ago. He was actually in prison for what? Doing nothing. He just went to buy suya. We have stories like that of so many people who have been in jail for years for not doing anything just because they were on the street, just because they unfortunately met with some of these rogue officers who just want money and nothing else. They see the rogue, I'm talking about, yes, I know there are great officers out there. So we're not packing everybody together. We know there are great officers, but the, they say bad news travels fast. The actions of the bad officers is overwhelming. It's blocking every, almost every good thing the good officers do. We don't even hear those ones. Because we can't even celebrate a good officer because immediately you're trying to praise a policeman here. Some are doing something wrong on this side. So to get the policeman, to get the people to trust the policeman, you have to show the people. You have to do something to show the people that you're not biased. You have to do something. You have to take action. A lot of erring police officers are only transferred to diff other different states. They're not jailed like they, we, we hear. Kaladi Johnson was shot in broad daylight. The case is still in court, almost a year now, being adjourned and adjourned and adjourned. Why? It was, he was shot in broad daylight. Everybody saw it. And there's so many families have been thrown into mourning. So now you now expect the guy, the young man in the Lexus, to see the same type of police officers cross him on the road like, like kidnappers would do. They come out and then with AK 47s and all he's he, seeing in his head, God. Am I going to be the next Carla D. Johnson or the next Tina or the next boy that went to buy Suya and was locked up for four years? Of course, out of fear. Who wants that? He will want to move away, get away. To show you how afraid the young man is, he will, even while in the Siena, he still jumped out of the bus. Because no innocent person will hear all of these things happening and want to just be taken away like that. And then how do they take them away? How do these police officers treat suspects? These are suspects, remember, right. not criminals, suspects, no, not armed or anything. We have loads of videos where we see armed, six, seven hefty armed men beating the hell out of an unarmed person. I saw one in, um, that happened in Ibutemeta, the guy in orange. Right. They were beating him like no man's business. What for? You are six men. At least a little, even if you don't use all of the training you have, the little, you can take a little out of your training and four of you can hold him down, handcuff him and carry him into your bus or whatever it is without hitting him. That's the respect that these police officers do not have for the Nigerian citizens on the street. So how do you expect them to respect you? How do you expect them to see you on the road and jump and say, oh, officer, I love you. Have you ever seen a Nigerian walk up to an officer to take a selfie? <laughs> or, or a record man. But, but, 